Yeah, so would I. Come in. Uh, could I get you some coffee? Would you like something to drink? No, 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 nothing. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. wine. How nice. How was your day? Swell. Yeah. I got the um, red and white. I didn't know. Oh, how nice. Serving. Is anyone eating this? Uh, no. My husband tells me you're into sharks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, um, yes, uh, I've never quite heard it put that way, but um, yes, I am. I am. I love sharks. You love sharks? Mm. I love them. I love them. When I was 12 years old, my father bought me this boat, and I went fishing off of Cape Cod. And I hooked a scup, and as I was reeling it in, I hooked a four-and-a-half-foot baby thresher shark, who then proceeded to eat my boat. He uh, ate my uh, oar and hooks and my... Seat cushions, he turned it inboard into an outboard, scared me to death, and I swam back to shore. And when I was on the beach, I turned around and actually saw my boat being taken apart, and ever since then, uh, yes, I have been studying sharks, and that's why I know that uh, I'm going to go to the Institute tomorrow and tell them that you still have a shark problem here. Why do you have to tell them that? Sorry. I'm sorry, that. I thought you told me they caught the shark. I heard it on the news. I heard it on the Cape Station. They caught a shark. Not the shark. Not the shark that killed Chrissy Watkins. And probably not the shark that killed the little boy. Which I wanted to prove today by cutting the shark open. And you know, you may want to let that breathe for a... Nothing. Okay. Yeah. You know, um, you're going to be the only rational man left on this island after I leave tomorrow. Where are you going? I'm going on the Aurora. Uh, the Aurora? What's that? It's a floating asylum for uh, shark addicts. Uh, pure research, 18 months at sea. Martin. Martin. He hates water. He hates boats. Uh, when we go on the ferry to the mainland, he sits in his car. Uh, it's a childhood thing. Uh, I think there's a clinical name for it. It's, um... Brownie. Listen. Is it true that most shark attacks happen in three feet of water, about ten feet from the beach? Yeah. And that, and that before people swam for recreation, I mean before sharks knew what they were missing, most of these attacks were never reported. That's right. Now this shark that swims alone... Uh, rogue. What's it called? Rogue. Rogue, yeah, rogue. Now this shark, he swims in a place where the feeding is good, until the food supply is gone. Yeah, it's called territoriality. It's just a theory that I happen to agree with. Well, why don't we have one more drink and go down to the dock and cut that shark open? Can you do that? I can do anything. I'm the chief of police. <laughs>